Hi folks, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot here on a rainy day in New Hampshire to do a random reading for you and uh, also to give you all types of info what's been going on um, with me lately. It's been absolutely crazy, uh, a lot of manifestation going on, creating, uh, meet and greets. It's just been crazy, but it's been crazy good. Um, I was at the Highland Games in Lincoln, New Hampshire over the weekend. Uh, got to meet a few of my subscribers, and I thought it was absolutely fantastic. I love doing the meet and greets. Uh, I've been doing uh, tarot card parties. So just to throw that out there, that anyone that's in my area, um, love to do the parties and meet you. Um, give me a shout if you're interested in that. Uh, this weekend, this Saturday, I am going to be at the Deerfield Fair in Deerfield, New Hampshire, of course. So if anyone is, you know, close by or would like to just come in, Get your fair food, your fried dough, and um, stop by and chat. I am going to be helping a friend that does the most amazing desserts. They are so phenomenal. So what could be better than getting to meet me and getting a great dessert? Nothing. <laughs> um, my tarot card classes, I am going to put them on sale from now into the end of October. Um, there are five videos plus a bonus video. They're $20 a piece. And I coached throughout the whole thing. The whole set is now going to be $80 instead of $100. If you were to purchase them separately, they'll be $20 a piece. But you can have the whole set now for $80. Okay? Life Path Readings, I think I'm going to extend them to uh, the end of October. And they will be $35, uh, opposed to being $40. Um, what else I want to tell you? My Mystery Healing Boxes, I've been selling a ton of them. They are blessed and hexed to bring out the highest properties and qualities of your healing crystals and stones. They stay loyal and true to their owners to work to their highest um, capacity. And I just bought a new shaped one. It's octagon. And it's absolutely amazing. So uh, if you're interested, let me know. And, um, oh, readings. Readings are going to be done either over the phone or they're done in a private video sent to you by email. So, uh... That is that. Did I cover everything? I think so. So let's go on to the reading. Let's see what's crack a on the 27th of September. Oh, and another thing too. I, I have been uh, developing a few uh, inventions of my own. And I believe that they will be coming out in October. So stay tuned. Man, I feel like I haven't been on YouTube in forever in a day to talk to you guys. It's just, like I said, so much going on. It's, it's like it comes on, you know, bang. It's like out the gate and running. <laughs> All right, it's shaking. All the leaves are starting to turn, coming in the fall foliage. Love it. Pretty soon you'll be seeing videos with pumpkins. <laughs> Ooh. First card that wanted to come out is the Gemini card of the lovers. This is, you know, soulmate connection. A deep bond that someone has with another one. It's like you finish each other's sentences. You know what the other one's thinking. The other side of this card is also about life-changing decisions. Hmm. Interesting way to start out. Lovers. What is going on with the lovers here? Making a connection. Reconnecting. Oh, too many. Somebody might be thinking that they met a soulmate. And then you have the seven of wands. Now here's defensive energy. You know, this person can back up what he says. Can the other six wands? This person could be holding something at bay. Except it does not go any further than it has. Standing your ground, maybe standing up for yourself. Somebody could be denying that this is a soulmate connection. Whether they believe in it. If such thing exists. 
They could be fighting it off. Fighting off the feeling of having a uh, connection with someone. And it can be in a friendship, partnership, love ship, any one of those ships. Huh. This person might have something really good here. You get two cards that came out. We have the Six of Pentacles, and here's the even exchange of generosity, the 50-50 deal. You always want to make sure that you're receiving as much as you're giving. And then you get the Ten of Cups. So ride that unicorn card. Emotional fulfillment at its best. Happy house, happy spouse. Emotionally feeling fulfilled. Somebody might think something here is too good to be true. And particularly if someone has had, you know, troublesome relationships. And again, in any ship. You know, they might have lost faith or hope that a soulmate connection can be had or if it even exists yeah what, what was i just saying telling you my intuition is like 100 now i get the thief card the seven of swords now there's many ways to depict a thief they steal material stuff from you they steal your hopes your dreams they can steal your heart they can steal your name your reputation they like to come in and stir up a bunch of BS and then leave like it wasn't even them. This is a person that, you know, ghosts you. Here today, gone tomorrow. They lie. And again, I'm, I'm still getting that feeling that this person... If they just accept the fact that they got something really good here, they could be running from it. Maybe afraid of being so close to somebody. So they just, they disappear. They sneak out. Maybe they feel like they can't handle something that's intense. And for some, this could be somebody having, you know, this great relationship, this deep bond with somebody, and somebody wanting to have what somebody has. They see that this person ultimately is so happy with somebody else, and they want it. That's another way of looking at it. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. So now you have the Ten of Swords. The backstab, the lie, to the cheated on, the betrayal. Tens are at the end of a cycle. This will be right under the lovers. Something could have been going on behind someone's back. They thought on the outside, you know, everything was great. They didn't think, it, you know, they trusted somebody in a partnership. But somebody could have been doing someone dirty. And just like the lovers, that is that deep bond that, you know, you don't, you meet once in a lifetime. You're supposed to. And it's being betrayed by somebody that you totally trusted and had something deep with. That's a hurt that goes beyond an average hurt. Now, you have judgment in reverse here. In the upright, this is hearing the call, rising up from the ashes, could be a Libra. You know, reconciliation on the table, maybe. Second go at something, possibly. But in the upright, this is, you know, making a final call. That's it. In the reverse, somebody has not made a final decision. And it's right behind, it's right under, excuse me, the person being standoffish. Keeping something back. They very well could be because somebody is so wounded. They're not ready to address it. It's like they need to get over the shock first. Yeah, because they're keeping something to themselves. They could be keep keeping themselves to themselves. Okay, the Four of Pentacles is known as a miser card. But this is somebody who is not speaking, not expressing themselves. 
It's right under the Six of Pentacles, the generosity card. Somebody might have pulled back their generosity after being so wounded. And again, I feel like they're still in that shock of like, you know, that energy of the tower. And this was something that totally blindsided them. Yeah. Because the truth came out. The Ace of Swords. And that's cutting off the things that no longer serve you. It is truth, clarity, communication. The universe gives somebody this opportunity whether they take it or not. Whether they want to hear it or speak it. And that's right under the Ten of Cups. Somebody here was very truthful about how they felt. And again, got blindsided by something devastating. Now we have the slowest night of all of them. The Pentacles. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy. But more so, he's just a messenger. He's a messenger of the sea, hear, taste, touch, prove things, material things. And of course, it's right under the Seven of Swords. Money, sure. But these are the things that have worth and value, just like pentacles. You know, love, respect, loyalty, honesty. Those hold just as much worth. And then the straight card that wants to come out is the Empress. Known as a Libra or a Taurus. The, the great mom. Sometimes it could be pregnancy. But the Empress can take an idea and birth it into the here and now and make it a successful reality. She's admired and she's adored for her kindness. And like I said before, she's the great mom, but she's a great cheerleader. She's a great support unit. And people adore her for that. As well as her beauty. At the bottom of the deck, we have the five of rods. Here's petty arguments, gossip, secrets, uh, lies. Not everybody's on the same page. Not seeing eye to eye here. And of course, you know, if this is a fresh wound and somebody's trying to absorb, it seems to me like it's like they still don't believe that this person was able to do something like this to him. Hmm, let's get into it. So we'll start off with the Gemini card of the lovers. And here is a deep bond, a connection like no other. But now somebody is keeping something at bay. They're standing their ground. We have the even exchange of generosity here, you know, equal partnership. And at one point, I feel that one person was extremely happy. They found their Ten of Cups riding unicorns. But I think one person felt like that. Somebody could have been lying to them, stealing from them, ghosting them. Because however and whatever it was, it's painful. And it hurts deep this person right now doesn't know what they want to do what judgment call reconcile not reconcile they haven't made their mind up yet right now i think they're trying to absorb they're not saying anything but they're pulling back retreating and some more truth needs to be spoken you know there's no halfway here all the cards. You'll tell somebody half truth. You can't unring a bell. But until this person gets the whole story, and then they can start to heal from it or make a decision. We have, you know, an offer that is steady of having valuable things. Maybe somebody took advantage of it. Because somebody here was or is and still, kind, nurturing, supporting. They could be, well, for some, they might have gotten pregnant. But this person 
is successful, has it all going on, and wanted to give it, I feel, to someone, somebody not worthy of it. There's conflict here. There's more than conflict. You get the five of wands. Couldn't help but look. Now you get the five of swords. This can get ugly. And after that, you have the reuniting card. Hmm. Somebody might be wanting to add salt to a wound. Hmm. So let's break it down, folks. We have a deep connection between two people in any one of those ships that I mentioned. And there's been some sort of betrayal. Somebody could be, you know, maybe keeping this relationship on ice. They haven't made a decision on what they want to do yet. And somebody's not speaking. They're not expressing themselves about how giving they were. And knowing this truth, this truth coming in, and maybe more to be spoken, is so hard to believe because this person was totally happy not knowing. But of course they had to know, or they found out, and that's the mind-blowing thing, because somebody was taking something from them. Could be money, could be other valuable things. This person can be very wounded because they supported this person. They loved this person. And this could be internal conflict. Trying to wrap some your head around it. And it could be ugly. Whoa. Woo! So, that is what I have for you folks. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel. I will be in Deerfield, um, New Hampshire at the fair this Saturday. So, if anyone's in the area, come, uh, we'll have a meet and greet and chat and a little bit of dessert. Uh, also, the tarot card uh, classes will be $80 to 100 just for the whole set. You can still buy them individually. Uh, Mystery Healing Boxes and I'm available for readings. So, till then folks, take care.